Coming up on Around Kern County, a new park and new future for an East Bakersfield community. The renovations underway at Bell Terrace Park and how investments countywide are making a big difference. And with school back in session, the library wants to help local students shine in the classroom. The resource they're offering free of charge at all of their branches when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. September is Suicide Prevention and Recovery Month here in Kern County, and Behavioral Health and Recovery Services is shining a light on hope, healing, and recovery by making sure our residents know they're not alone. We're so proud of this county department for their constant innovation and commitment to the well being of our community as they're the first county in the state to implement zero suicide in their system of care to reach the goal of making suicide a never event. If you'd like to access their important resources or get involved, just visit kernbhrs.org for a full list of events and outreach happening this month. And as always, if you're in need of help or support, you can call their 24-7 crisis hotline at 988 Mental Health Access Line at 800-991-5272 or Substance Use Access Line at 866-266-4898. With the start of a new month means a new focus as part of Public Health's and Kern BHRS's Grounded in Health campaign. September is Preventative Care Month with an emphasis on being proactive in taking care of both our physical and mental health. Preventative care is visiting your doctor and having screening tests run to make sure that you don't have anything going on that maybe you're not aware of yet. It's finding those health problems early so they're easier to treat. It's getting just that preventative health care in general. It's just really taking care of your body and your health before it becomes a problem. So the idea of preventative care, whether it means starting with the doctor and getting your regular checkups or talking to somebody and saying, hey, I'm really having a hard time, I'm not okay, and I need to address how I'm feeling, either place you start is the right place to start. For more information about how to get started on your preventative care journey or other tips and tricks on how to live your happiest, healthiest life, just visit kerngroundedinhealth.com. Bell Terrace Park in Kern County's 5th District is getting a major upgrade. From a new basketball court to upgraded walkways to a state-of-the-art play structure, improvements are underway. Construction began last week in celebration with members of the community, county officials, and supervisor Leticia Perez. This, my friends, is Kern County. This is actually Kern County. And let me tell you, it is the best of us, my friends. It is the best of us. If you look at the folks that are up here, and you'll hear from a couple of them in a moment, uh, you will see that the work that's being done here is being done so from so many vantage points and is only possible because of the synergy and the love and the devotion to the children and the families of this community. This project is one out of $10 million worth of investment happening within the 5th District. And on top of this, Kern County has allocated a historic $49 million to parks improvement projects countywide to increase the appearance, safety, and enjoyment of our green spaces. And these investments are not just for capital improvements. The Board of Supervisors has also increased funding for operations and maintenance of these same parks, as well to improve their care, their look, and their usability. It's an investment in public spaces to improve the quality of life throughout Kern County. To stay up to date with all things happening in our Kern County parks, just visit our website, kerncounty.com. With the seasons changing, it's a perfect time to clean things up before the official start of fall. Kern County Public Works is hosting multiple household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of September. Beginning Saturday, September 9th, you can get rid of unwanted items at the McFarland Delano Transfer Station from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. 
You can also drop off your waste on Saturday, September 16th at the Lebec Transfer Station and Saturday, September 30th at the Taft Recycling and Sanitary Landfill. Public Works is encouraging residents to get rid of anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around their homes, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information on these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. With school back in session, it's not just students in the classroom who are getting an education, but also our seniors. Anna Marie Odo has more. Kern County Aging and Adult Services is excited to offer a new technology program for older Americans to help bridge the digital divide in our community. If you or someone you know over the age of 60 is interested in learning how to properly utilize technology platforms, this program is for you. From using handheld devices to navigating the internet to creating email accounts or online banking, this free resource supports Kern County seniors understanding and accessing technology. For more information on how to sign up, please call Aging and Adult Services at 661-868-1000 or visit their website at kerncounty.com and search Aging and Adult Services. And we're ending today with the Kern County Library helping students ace their way back into the classroom. They're working in partnership with the Kern Literacy Council to bring a free tutoring program to local adults, teens, and children at all 22 library locations. Whether it's mastering test prep, sharpening your reading, writing, and math skills, or preparing for your citizenship test, the tutoring network is supporting local students of all ages countywide. The library hopes this free resource will provide a critical and needed service to students across our entire county, while helping residents feel empowered through literacy education. To book a free session at your local branch or join the fun virtually, just visit kerncountylibrary.org slash tutoring. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you right back here next week.